And happening today, students and parents opposed to the changes at Benson High School. Students are pretty unhappy that Benson will go from a four-year school to a two-year specialized academy. Benson, a career technical education school, would be changed from a four-year program into a two-year program. And March to protest cuts at Portland's Benson High School. Students there are still trying to save several programs. And that includes some of the athletic teams. Some parents outraged fearing sports could be done away with at their school. Students are worried that the district will take away their sports altogether. Brenda, if the architecture program is cut, students in it tell me they won't be able to get a degree from Benson High in that major. You know, at first I was really mad. I mean, like, I was mad for, for you know a solid week, it, but at this point, uh, I guess I'm just kind of like disappointed because like I can I can see new incoming freshmen. Like I know somebody who moved across the, across the state to come here to take architecture, and now now it's gone. I don't like the fact that now my site's not a great teacher, and I don't have the same major. I would have preferred that if they're going to cut it, they should have waited one more year. And halted the rest of the classes. It was a huge shock. It was nothing I suspected to be happening. You know, when I decided to come to Benson, I didn't know what I wanted to do. But the last thing I thought would be happening was me having to defend my major or anything like that. You know, I just I experienced a huge drop in motivation. You know, I was doing good, and then I just I didn't know what to do with myself. I feel both anger and sadness because of it. I I could never understand how at a CTE school, one that's supposed to bring people together and one that's supposed to teach kids and to get them ready for what they want to do, could ever possibly consider um, a major being so like worthless in a way. In 2007, due to budget cuts, it was decided that they were going to cut the um, mechanical engineering major that we also had at the time. And because the mechanical engineering teacher and I had the exact same teaching license, it basically came down to he had seniority, so I got bumped. And so what they did at that time is they asked Mr. Wong to take, who had been teaching freshman and sophomore drafting at Benson for decades, asked him to take over the architecture program, but within 12 months it was decided, so at the end of 2010 it was completely closed down. In the spring of 2014, while I was working in um, a firm in Bend, Oregon, I got the call saying, hey, we're reopening the architecture major. We have, through the efforts of some of the Benson teachers, the Benson administrators, and the Benson Alumni Association, received a grant to buy you the furniture and the computers you need to get this program back up and running again. So I decided to come back to Benson and I've been back here for the last five years. So drafting technology too, as I said, it actually supports not just the architectural program of study, it also supports manufacturing, it supports um, building construction, it supports electric, um, computers, science has even got now or will be shortly having AutoCAD in their lab, you have to have those basic drafting skills to do create 3D models for some of the projects that they're doing over there. So it's not just architecture. I think just like having a class that I like enjoy coming to every day and it makes it easier and I know there have been like really really bad times like when I'm like oh my god something happened it's kind of crazy that I can come in here and for that hour and a half it feel normal. It's, it, I found what I want to do I think you know after high school and everything like that I, I want to go into engineering uh, it helped you know build uh, 
helped me build my work ethic a lot. You know, before before the architecture program, I none of the classes were particularly challenging, but this one really was quite challenging, and it, it challenged me often. It's increased my skills in 3D modeling, drafting, uh, reading, and making blueprints, uh, building. Um, it's also helped him find a job. I just, I like art and I just want to use it in a technical way and I didn't know what I want to do with my life, but architecture has kind of shown me what career I want to go into.